2 Corinthians 4, the verse 16 to 18 says, Therefore, we do not lose heart, even though our outward man is perishing, yet our inward man is being renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Today I'll be sharing about fixing your eyes on the unseen and I'll be covering what is the unseen, what does it mean to fix your eyes on the unseen and how to endure hardship as a believer in Christ Jesus. Let's get into it. Paul in this Bible verse was talking about his determination not to lose heart and to face the suffering for Jesus. He says that the suffering of the present life are not worthy compared to the glory that will be revealed to us and in us. Romans 8 verse 18. But this perspective requires us to fix our eyes and to focus on the unseen. What is the unseen? The unseen is the invisible, the things that we cannot see with our physical or natural eyes. It is the supernatural. The unseen is eternal. Colossians 1 verse 15 tells us that God is invisible. Therefore, the unseen is God, and anything connected to him, such as his word, his work, the Holy Spirit, his glory, heaven. The seen things are the things that are visible to the human eyes, the things that we're experiencing now. Paul tells us that they are temporal. For a short time, they come and go quickly. These are light and short compared to the glory and pleasure of eternity to come. Paul was able to keep his focus on the glories of eternity by keeping his inner focus on what is eternal, that is, the unseen. This helps him endure the sufferings of life. He encourages us to do the same in Colossians 3, the verse 1 to 4, which says, If then you are raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on the things above, not on the things on the earth. For you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, you also appear with him in glory. In Hebrews 12 verse 2, we are encouraged to fix our eyes on Jesus. It says, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right, down, right hand of the throne of God. Jesus himself did the same to be able to endure the cross for our sake. Sometimes when we're going through hard times, challenges of life, sickness, suffering, persecution, etc. We can take our eyes off the unseen, God and his glory, and we only focus on the negative things going on around us. But as Paul did, we need to take our eyes off the negative things that are going on around us, and we need to focus on God, the invisible, and his word. Take grace from the Holy Spirit and look at the glory that will be um, revealed to us. Amen. Fix your eyes on the unseen also means looking at your goals, looking at your targets, your dreams, your vision, your purpose in Christ Jesus, the great promises of um, the word of God, the glory of heaven, and focusing on that. For our present troubles are small and they won't last for very long, yet they, um, but they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them and will last forever. So child of God, don't give up, hold on, endure to the end as a soldier of Jesus Christ. 2 Timothy 2 verse 3 says, You must therefore endure hardship as a soldier of Jesus Christ. 1 Peter 3 verse 14 also says, But even if you should suffer for righteousness sake, you are blessed. And do not be afraid of their threats, nor be troubled. As Christians, there's going to be times that we're going to face persecution because of our faith. That is suffering for Christ. But we can only do this if we fix our eyes on the unseen and not the seen things. Fixing our eyes on the seen things is not only about being consumed, about challenges of life, about negative things that are going on around us, but also being preoccupied on earthly things such as your finance, your job, your career, your education, your family and so on. These are all good, but without God they are nothing. Mark 8 verse 36 tells us, For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Or what will he give in exchange of his soul? This means, What will it profit a man if he gets an excellent job, an excellent career, excellent education and family and loses his soul? What will he give in exchange of his soul? 
Be spiritually minded, consumed by the Holy Spirit, and that will affect everything that you do, and you'll be victorious in every area of your life. When we fix our eyes on God, the invisible and the eternal one, he gives us grace to be victorious in everything that we do, and everything that we go through, and every challenge of our life. Amen. Fix your eyes on the unseen. God bless you. Be transformed by the name of your mind. It's transformation, KJ.